I went through formal art school training in the early 60s, and I was involved with uh, drawing, painting, ceramics. I had a greater affinity with metal. Metal, in some aspects, is very structural and very resistant, uh, but I tried to create a lyricism with it. And uh, there's also a methodology that you go through. So it, it was a challenge mentally and also physically. And uh, I felt that that dialogue really engaged totally what I was as an individual, my emotional sense and my, uh, my uh, logical uh, sensibilities. The majority of my work deals with complexity and there's a lot of um, organic relationships to the forms that you would think of in reference to nature. Yet at the same time, there's uh, geometric forms that might have a more of a logical or a mechanical context. And what I like to do is to uh, create a balance within the sculpture. Um, if you think of it more in reference to music rather than three-dimensional form, you know, there might be a certain lyricism and then there might be an accent or a counterbalance. Uh, so that happens form-wise, but also it happens with color and materials. So we're trying to create that, uh, that complexity of uh, composition. I was involved with the uh, zoo project for Central Park Zoo many years ago. And I developed a uh, quite elaborate um, uh, set of designs. Uh, that project didn't happen, but about uh, five years ago, the uh, St. Louis Zoo, someone had seen these drawings and then commissioned the artwork for the zoo. It ended up being a three and a half year project. Uh, it was the first figurative project I did. So what it is, it's a ceremonial archway you walk through. And so basically you're walking into the uh, animal's environment. It starts with uh, savanna, it goes to jungle and into a water feature. So we're, we're creating the environment where the animals are in and the actual animals. The St. Louis Zoo is considered the best zoo in the country because of their endangered species. Uh, program. We have over uh, 70 endangered species in there. So it's become a, um, the entrance to the zoo is a pedestrian plaza just adjacent to the zoo. The actual sculpture is uh, 50 foot high, 130 foot long, and weighs about 120 tons.